Hello everyone and welcome back to day 8 of the beginners module. Today we are going to learn something different. We will be starting with a challenge. So students, for you I am going to give a challenge in which you have to submit a game made by you. You can simply submit the video of the game or by sharing the screen recording of your mobile phone or laptop. In the first part, I am going to tell you what is the challenge and in the second part, we are going to start a new software in which I will be telling you that how you can easily make flappy game. This is a thing that you can use over your mobile phone or laptop in the same manner. No different software is there. So let us go. So for all those who want to participate in this competition, this is a sample video that kind of game you have to make for this competition and you can simply read out more about the competition in the description part of this video that is given just below the video here is one more sample video you can take any kind of characters or sprites and you have to make this kind of game for this competition So now it's time to explore something new. So let us start. When you are going to click over the link in the description, then you will find this dialog box open. Just what you have to do is you have to just put a click over the cross here. You can use it over your mobile phone or laptop. In both the cases, the same view will be there. Just remember that you have to switch your mobile phone you have to tilt it horizontal okay now see here everything is given attach a block to the when click block then press run now just you have to follow the commands and now see here this is the game part here that you can see now when click when click this run here you can see a tab that is run so this is actually your screen area where you will be having the view of the game and this is the coding area now in this coding area or the workspace you will get some instruction parts also these are the instruction parts now see what you have to do you just have to drag the blocks see earlier when you uh, we were using the scratch there were so many blocks and you get confused which one to use now in this uh, tutorial you will be having just those blocks visible that you will be using so when clicked the uh, play wing sound and flap so i'm using both of these and now let us see it running so i'm clicking it here. and yes it is working now see you can uh, just note it down that there is the congratulation you have completed the puzzle one but uh, let us see once again i am going to replay it and I am going to rest and start again. Now you can see I have shown my laptop sound. So in the first step, we are just going to code for this flat beat. Okay. Now let us continue. For the next round, I am going to continue here. And now see what we will be getting. Here you can see the numbers also. You are over the second step. A total of 10 steps are there. In the second step, what we have to do we have to go for instruction now we have added some ground attach a block to the wing then hit the ground i'm going to enlarge the screen area attach a block to the when hit uh, the ground block and you need to code end the game okay so i'm going to code for when hit the ground then the game should be ended so when clicked the flap should be there and wing sound should be there and game should be ended so i'm going to here now let us start so i'm running out here and if i touch the ground then game over is there so again we have completed the second part also 
so once again i am going to replay that you can see what we have done just you have to drag drag out the end game to this side and then that game will be made so i am again starting it run click for the screen and just you are tapping it when i am tapping it you can tap it with your screen touch also okay so when i am going to touch it will fly but if i am not going to tap it will fall down and this is how i have completed the puzzle 2 now let us continue towards the puzzle 3 and it's uploading now yes let us see the instruction when the run block allows you to run code when your game starts try setting the level speed and flapping to the target now we have some more things to do again i am increasing the size of my screen just i am dragging out here at the three dots okay so when we are running then the game should start and try setting the level so speed i am going to set here see speed options are also there very slow slow normal fast so i think normal is good i don't need to change that now speed is also set and wind sound also i am going to add here so many other sounds are also there but as it is a flappy game so i am adding the wind to the angry bird only so see let's start by clicking it tapping it now see it's moving also we are moving further now here our game is going on goal but if it going to touch so it's fine so puzzle 3 is also completed let us move towards the puzzle 4 i am going to click over continue again and let us see which part is here now with us yes now again read the instruction flappy will fly through obstacles unless you write code to make him crash so obstacles can be crossed attach the block when hit an obstacle so here i am having when hit an obstacle then we need to end the game so i am adding here when hit end the game and uh, flappy crashes into the first set of the pipes now pipes are also there so speed is set wing sound i am adding it because i like the wing sound every time i am adding it okay now see when i am at uh, adding a block here so you can just see the tapping sound this tapping sound is very very much important because if it is not tapped properly it will not be attached to the code now again so let us click run part and again i'm just moving so now see oh i'm going to replay this because it was so less time that what and i we have to move in between oh, again we need to move in between these cubes so again i'm going to play that oh i really don't think that i can do this so you need to try. make the game so uh, oh now in the fifth step let us see the instructions let's add a scoreboard so we are adding a scoreboard and here a point is there so i'm adding it here and score a point by flying flappy through the first set of the pipes so whenever it will be passing on from the first then the point is there okay so i am continuing now let us go for the sixth part over the sixth part see if you can still score a point make flappy either smaller or larger in amount so when collect i need to add up the amount flap a normal so okay and also i need my sound again i'm going to enlarge it now see whatever is written you just have so here we completed that also now let us go for the next seventh part 
and seventh part we need to see the instructions next try changing the screen by attaching another block when run block so i'm going to attach it uh, set screen so in the when part i'm attaching set screen some random i'm adding here and i'm going to enlarge and run and here is the random background as you can see now background changed so let us see the next thing here in the eighth part what i need to do is you can set visuals anytime not just when the game start try random uh, scene when other events happen so here again they are saying to add the random so for example when passing an obstacle so here i am having when passing an obstacle then also the set screen should change so here i am having the set screen and i need to give it random here and i am going to enlarge it see our code is little bit larger now and it is going to change every time so here we completed eighth puzzle let us see which is the ninth one and in the ninth puzzle we need to read again to mix things up when hitting an obstacle instead of ending the game try setting score back to zero so we need to when hit an obstacle here we need to add set score zero so let us start with that and see this, the game will move on but just the score will be okay and let us see the last part and the game will be completely made create your own flappy game you can change all the visuals and the rules even the gravity when you are done click finish and let others to try over the phone okay so let us see again all the things are now here and you just have to add it here okay now this is the last part and you need to add all the things here by your own so this is how you are going to make a flappy game and it is going to be really very 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 interesting for you okay i hope you will make it and just you have to go to the description of this video and then you have to click over the link given then you can directly come over this page